Good morning. In today's video, I will uh, continue Dynamo course for uh, beginner, and I will uh, build up on the previous video for the spherical uh, uh, array system that I uh, explained last week. And uh, last thing we was making, you know, uh, a hemisphere, and then we cut the hemisphere to you know half. And the last thing I think we made this quarter of a hemisphere, as you can see. So I just build up on that and and uh, I added, uh, you know, make it like a 360 uh, for the theta, making it exactly half and half hemisphere. And in the pi, I just, uh, you know, fix it in the phi, sorry. I just fix it to 90 degree. So in order to, you know, uh, achieve a better way of manipulating the, uh, sphere uh, array or the sphere or the dome itself as we can have in here we can manipulate both uh, the phi and the theta uh, for example if you are not intending to make it full or exactly half of a circle you can go ahead and you know reduce the the amount of phi and that will generate for you as you can see a slice of uh, you know a dome and it might be you know uh, architectural wise you know a bit better than the, the full half circle uh, maybe you feel it more modern rather than uh, the classical half uh, you know full half uh, sphere or the you know the 300 the 180 degree or the 90 degree from each side depending on how you look at it here it's measured by 90 anyway so if we say that the whole 180 from you know, uh, from around the x-axis or the y-axis, 30% will, you know, slice that part and give us, you know, a part of, you know, the previous geometry. So the first and very basic way of slicing a dome is, you know, to change or actually to reduce the phi to 30 instead of, a, you know, 90 degree. The theta, you can again, you know, uh, reduce that and you can end up by having a vertical slice, as you can see in here. Of course, if you are, you know, you need to have a look at the spherical array still existed here. And I just hide it in, in case if you want to have a look at it. So if you increase that a bit, you can go ahead and, you know, making a vertical slice as you can. See, it's a bit slow because I have lots of nodes here and building up of a big uh, project, as you can see. Uh, it's a good way to exercise those uh, spherical array and put it in more architectural and practical exam. Uh, sorry, example. So that's it for, for you know, just... Uh, I think it's easy for you to understand now that the vertical and the horizontal slicing uh, of a dome, how can be, you know, how you can manipulate it, how you can generate it. It's very basic and very easy by changing the phi and theta. So if I build on this, keeping the same parameter, that's a 30 and that's a 315 for theta. It's exactly the same. I didn't change anything. Uh, I'll just remove that. Just hit shift and get rid of this. Turn off the points also. I'll keep this in here. So back to this. Now you can go ahead and connect that directly if if you are if you are happy with this result. But I will go ahead and show you a further way of more slicing and more manipulating, and that give you a better or enhanced way of uh, advanced way. Sorry to control and manipulate uh, the spherical array. So let me connect, uh, I'm on purpose before I start, turned off the preview for everything I have. So I'm going to step by step to show you what I'm going to do. First, before I, uh, you know, go ahead and connect, because if I connect that, again, it will generate for me a NURB surface by, by point and the whole, uh, you know, the whole geometry or the whole uh, sliced hemisphere will be you know uh, shown and if I want to open this you know or remove a part of it or a, a ring 
maybe you want to remove the entire north pole if you allow me to say that or you if you want to select a specific uh you know uh, zone between those two horizontal array I'll, I'll just go step by step showing you this so if you have a look at you know what happening inside as a sub list and you select the first one you will notice that those whole points it's like uh I don't know like 40 60 you can tell from how many you have 63 they are all located almost in the same place and technically we don't want that so i'll just try to drop this the first item so i'm gonna go ahead connect those and in it i'll just show the preview and if i turn off this so by dropping this guy you can see what I've done now I I remove you know the last sorry the first item and that means the whole you know the whole list in here and that you know cancel the surface generated in, in, in this specific area or the North Pole of the hemisphere and when you connect that to the nerve surface it will generate for you the, the, the geometry so maybe this is what we you know look for if you change and increase the amount of you know uh, list dropped you can even go bigger and bigger and get rid of the second ring and the third ring and keep those last three or you know whatever you want if you want to remove the lower one it will be easier for you to go back to phi and change it and reduce it but the top one is you know can be removed by having this you know just adding a drop list and then connect the, the vertical uh <clears throat> sorry and connected the resulted nodes or the resulted points to the nerve surface node which will do the business for you now let's try to take this even further so let me see here i'm just uh, transposing the you know uh, transposing the whole list here so i'll just go ahead and uh, have a preview so what i've done here is i reversed the way that the sublist organized okay and uh, in it I'm trying to build you know on this surface not to generate uh, just as, uh, to, to try to build on on this uh, you know nodes not to generate a one surface like this one but rather to you know build up a horizontal lines here and vertical lines in here and I will generate the surface again using a different technique and that will help me by having those lines and the vertical lines here that will help me indeed to you know generate uh, like a beam or like uh, you know a sweep here uh, of a circle or a polygon that goes like a metal frame around those you know uh, horizontal and vertical edges so i transpose that so instead of having a 63 or 64 in the first list and there is actually you know four list or five i think in here if you want to know how much you have here six technically you're going to find that here in i think this one will be six or seven and this dude here will be the 64 as you can see so those number you can know them that if this if you open the whole all thing should be six or seven because we drop one in here so they were seven and now they are six from zero to five six and if you open those guys you're gonna find 64 which is the, whatever the result coming from you know the theta thing if you are wondering why it's seven because or why it's six because it's uh, you know six and seven minus one which is six and if you are wondering from where that come you know the 64 you know that from the theta itself and the range that we did previously will generate 64 jump or 64 value so now when you you know transpose that dynamo go for the first one in the first list which is this one and then the first one in the first list and so on and the first one in the second list and put them in a new list technically this mean if you select this guy you know this will give you the upper ring and if you select this dude here you're gonna select the second ring if you turn off that when you have a list transpose technically the first list will be the vertical line here and the second list will be the list here and so on which really useful technique to understand and to use when you transport this type of listing is you're going to get the vertical lines uh, or uh, let's say vertical rows and columns 
depending on which one you was you know building for so uh, that's what I've done so if I want to take the first one or the index zero one this will bring me here if I uh, activate the preview see so if I whatever selected in here if I just select this guy here I think I left something selected yep so let me turn off this yep that's better so if I select this this node I'm technically having this line see which is whatever left over after we remove the pole here and starting from this point and so on to the end one that's the first one the last one is a bit of annoying so it, it will be you know parametrically changed depend on the theta value so I'm taking the value here whatever it generates 64 count that so it give me a pure double or a number 64 and then I take one from it and then I manage to get the you know the last as you can see I will get the last line or the last column of points which again allow me to generate now curves by point this time instead of a surface so here I have a line see this is a nerve surface by point that I generated the whole thing and uh, this guy here is a nerve curve by point so I'm just drawing a line as you can see a nerve line so let me turn off that guy we're gonna end up don't worry here a uh, surface by lot we're almost gonna end up or actually gonna end up by the same technique the one thing that I needed is to show you how you can draw a line a horizontal line and a vertical line and also to you know get benefit from them to create further geometries now we have uh you know those uh, vertical lines generated now for the horizontal lines again the same command and it's way much easier because you just need to you know uh oops you just need to uh, connect those lists which is already been organized to be horizontal one and that will generate for you you know you know the horizontal line as you can see so i'm gonna probably turn off this guy and turn off this guy because there's too much points you know like well, that's what we really need to have a look at that's the thing that we did not or couldn't generate when we use the nerve surface by point and instead uh, I generated those you know lines they are really important in the architectural design and that allow you even in, in the interior design uh, to allow you to use them and you know adding patterns uh, to add a special material for each ring uh, to generate a sweep it depend on how you want to you know push further your point design into a curve design i know i did not uh, detail this explain the nerves or the curve generation the regeneration or uh, as a comment how they work but we really need uh, some practical examples so bear with me even if you don't know exactly how those work i will explain them in the very soon videos because we're going to finish with the line with the point soon and then jump into the uh, lines and curves and then onto the surfaces and so on so just connect them and follow the steps and by that you have uh, you know the required even if you want to generate the same result here which is uh, surface by loft uh, be careful when you write surface by loft because you're gonna get uh, several types uh, of it try to make sure that you have you know a guide curve with it and now you have if I activate that you're gonna get the same result technically here so you can see now the surface generated and I do believe that nerve surface is more you know more uh, curvier than the, the loft but the loft is good enough also and the guide curve should be joined as a list so you have to put them together in a list you can just you know right click and hit list.create and get pushing the plus one and connect those two don't forget to right click hide it because we don't need a couple of you know two elements at the same time because this dude will have a copy of those two and those two will create another copy so you can either get this on or those two on and turn off the other depending on what you want I prefer to turn this one off so we can get this on now as long as we have those lines I can go ahead and use them <clears throat> sorry and use them to generate whatever you want so I can just extrude or sweep so I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, I, I I will create I'll just open this dude here 
Uh, this is a custom node. I already explained it uh, a couple of uh, lectures ago, and I will drop a link here in in this YouTube. If you did not, uh, you know, if you don't know how to do it, uh, there is a full video on it. I'll drop it here again. What this guy did, what this custom node is just really did, is just you go. It goes and take all the lines and go to the beginning of them. Yeah, so. It, take all the lines that you generated and I'm talking about the horizontal one and you can specify the location of it I'm, I left that the default value to zero so it will be here uh, find out the perpendicular plane and then draw a circle with a radius of 0.01 now that enough for me to generate a sweep so if I preview that it will generate as you can see a surface uh, sweep here it look like a frame for me it's a good way to represent uh, architectural frame if you want to do this, do this as an entire separated panel and these are the mullions of course this will take from this one the profile which is the circles and the path it really need you know the same line in here you, you just create it uh, go ahead and in it I was you know experimenting with the geometry color by uh, geometry color dot by uh, geometry color just right click and preview it and this is I think a custom node you can just add a normal uh, normal dynamo standard uh, coloring uh, this guy I think is just I think it's uh, it's a clockwork it's a custom node uh, it's a custom package you can you know just uh, search it in the package and download it it's a clockwork it's just ready node to create uh, or, uh, it's just a node that create a red color for you and of course nothing gonna be shown because we have one with a white color which is this one and a same one the same one with a red color so you have to turn off one of them which is the one we don't want so now we're gonna have a red frames horizontal frames you can see similar techniques here exactly I'm gonna run that as a preview and the same thing except that I have those two small lines in here and that generates for me the you know the surface required on the vertical ones as you can see in here now uh, that's really why I was you know slicing this one and slicing this one and same thing for the horizontal one so you i can show you that you can use that in you know the way that um, you know use that as a framing as a mullions and also to define the space i'll, I'll show you again and then in the in the next part how you can uh, change or select a specific you know strip of those whether you want them horizontal or vertical anyway let me add some colors to the to the uh, to the whole panels in here I'm just imagining that they are a glazing and again I have to turn off this one I add some transparency to it so you know as much as I can get as a visualization out of Dynamo which is not a much as you see anywho now the last part is this one and in it I wanted to uh, you know uh, let me show you the end up result probably better so you know what I'm talking about so in it I'm just selecting one of those strips and then you know extruding the surface into two direction to make a solid and you know like a an opaque area and transparent area in the same surface so how I did that again very easy is just a list dot get item at an index and I'm getting straight from this dude here which is having the whole list the whole lines horizontal lines I picked up the third one and the fourth one so the third one mean in our way of calculation is the fourth because this is number zero this is number one this is number two and this is number three and the fourth one so that's what we did right here those, those two things they are just lines and then I build up a nerve curve uh, on them actually that's a you know that's another good thing uh, I did I should have um, you know just selected the nerve curves out of in here ah, I don't know why I did this 
Anywho, that's an extra unrequired step. So I should have just select list.get index items from this one. Why that anyway? List them together and then create the surface required. So let me probably tell off this one. This guy in here will build up a surface here in here, as you can see. Only this one. So that's uh, that's the nice thing. So you can see it's very similar to what we have. It's again sweep. Sorry, it's a surface by loft. So it's similar to the surface by loft in here, but this one doesn't have a guide curve. Just need two lines, which is this one and this one. And then I generated the surface. Soon I added thickness to it. This will make this 2D surface as a 3D solid. So you can see thickness can be controlled uh, by a code block or a slider. Careful that this is push the uh, the surface two sides or extruded two sides that way and that way, making it a 3D. If you like it this this way without the you know the color, go ahead. Uh, for me, I'm just I don't know why I'm adding colors, but I added uh, again. A color for it which is this same technique I used to choose this one exactly that's the color uh, combination if you want to use uh, it's just a 255 for the red and 200 for uh, blue and green nothing for alpha and this one too so the final thing is this and that's what I wanted to you know explain in this video which is how you slice or further or more advanced slice a dome uh, so the dome can be cut horizontally as you can see by making this hollow or can be cut like a piece of cake vertically how you can slice you know based on two horizontal line to make a surface and i'm not quite sure if i can even flip that to a vertical lines i'm pretty sure i can so yeah that's why i add those as point base not line base i wasn't mistaken actually so when i have the transpose point yep i was not mistaken thank god so i'm gonna add this one here and why i did not hit control so i can connect them together i have no idea too anyway so now you see you can even make a vertical uh, a vertical slice instead of a horizontal slice as you can see you can place it or move it anywhere you uh, like so instead of where are we here instead of one and two you can make it like uh, one to five can we yep one to fifteen or sixteen you can see how you can make it uh, you know it goes it doesn't follow the same curvature now that makes sense because that's a line and that's a line if you want it to be like this the whole sector in this case you must use a, a, a surface loft by a guide which is, I think the same thing as this one if you want but I was building something that is just a one slice so should be 15 to 16 that's how I was you know thinking it and as you can see it's uh, worked perfectly okay so uh, that's it guys uh, that's what I was trying to explain in uh, today is just a practical example of the spherical array system and I choose to further uh, explain how you can slice a dome uh, horizontally and vertically and how you can create geometries based on that thank you very much for watching me and have a good day bye bye